You know, in life and in poker, you have to know the secret to running a convincing bluff. Otherwise, you're better off telling the truth. How's it going people of YouTube? It's your boy Rudy here and I'm here today to bring you a brand new video. Merry Christmas everybody! And since it's Christmas, today marks the 12th and final day of the 12 days anime. I hate seeing this list has, has come to a close. But since it's Christmas, I hope you guys have received everything that you wanted. If not, as so long as you got your family, just enjoy the time you got with them. However brief it is. Alright. But. Let's dive on in. For one final time. To the bag of goodies. To see what gifts my lovely wife has brought today for Christmas. Oh. And what did you know. She brought me a moment for her own anime. So with that said. Let's start this video off proper. On the 12th and final day. Of the 12 days of anime. My true love. Hayase Nagatoro. Or Nagatoro Hayase. How you want to pronounce it. Gave to me. Pick up that phone, cause I'm calling your bluff. You see, the please don't bully me slash toy with me, Nagatoro, is an amazing manga and anime. I freaking love it. I can't wait for the second season. There's so much to to comment on that I don't know if I have time to do in this one video. But Nagatoro herself has a habit of. Teasing her senpai, but in a way that's kind of um helping him out. You know, well, it does seem bullying to some. She actually does feel guilt for things she does. You know, so it's kind of it's more or less teasing than bullying because that's a to be honest, it's still a fine line. But he he enjoys spending time with her. You know, um, but in this particular moment, senpai and Nagatoro went to the. Summer festival, I believe, it was a summer festival, and they enjoyed their time with um, with each other, but also with their with their with their friends. Um, now, while the friends ditched them to kind of give Nagatoro and Senpai some alone time, they enjoyed the, the walking around the festival. But then the fireworks started, and she really wanted to go see the fireworks. Well, on the way there, uh, she almost got lost in the crowd, so Senpai took it upon himself to to uh, grab her hand and move her to a more private area that he remembers from when he was younger. And while the fact that <laughs> she he did this, it, she started teasing him, but like, oh, taking taking him taking a pure innocent girl like me to a to a hidden spot to a romantic spot to do some sleazy. How bold are you! But see, the thing is, when he she started teasing him and virgin shaming him. He started, he started, it hit him like, wait, he had a moment of realization, like, wait, 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 hold up now. I know for a fact, from our various interactions, that she herself is also shy. So, let's see how, how you do when the shoes on the other foot. And she keeps saying, how sleazy, sleazy, and he's like, alright, something sleazy. What exactly do you, okay, what, do you, give me examples, like, and she, it kind of threw her, threw her, threw her, loop, threw Nagatora through a loop because she didn't expect to be caught on a bullcrap. Um, and he's like, "No, no, come on, give me some, give me some examples, specific details." Um, and she's like kissing and stuff, and she's like, "Not like you can do it anyways." And he's like, "Oh, and you can," <laughs> and she and she says, "Of course you can." And the funny part about the whole scene is. While they're, she's trying, attempted to kiss him, a certain fireworks lit up the freaking nighttime sky, revealing that everyone was being rom romantic around them. And lo and behold, they both got embarrassed and bolted. <laughs> so they decided to sit and watch the many fireworks in a more secluded area and hidden in somewhat of an awkward silence. <laughs> Boy, show what happens when you call out people on their bluffs. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it backfires. In this case, Senpai's calling out of Nagatoro's bluff worked perfectly because it hit her home. Because she thought, because he proved, and not only boosted the confidence, but also proved that she herself did not have any experience at all. <laughs> well, but 
to be honest, I love the interaction between those two, and the fact that he's actually been able to form a bond with her friends too, which is kind of strange, but sometimes it happens. Sometimes men get along better with females than they do men, you know? It's because we're sometimes antisocial. I know I am at times. Well, it's not so much I'm antisocial, it's just socially awkward. That's better. But, ladies and gentlemen, that brings today to a close. This, this video, too. To be honest, it saddens me to, to end it here. So, I want to do you one thing. This is a tough time for everyone. So, as a little PSA announcement, I want any everyone to please spend time with your family and enjoy the loved ones. Because you may not be here for They might be here one minute and gone the next. Um, and if you don't have family nearby or can't and do anything about it, either if you, if you don't know any, anyone, try to make some friends with someone you don't know. Because you know, they could probably go going through something that's just as bad. Sometimes a simple phone call can stop, can mean the difference between life and death. Because believe it or not, around this time of year, the suicide rates jump. I mean, not just jump, spike dramatically. And if you can't, and again, I reiterate, if you can't be with your family, find someone who need who needs a friend, you know. Because because if you spread the love around and the holiday spirit, that will also have a trickle effect and will help someone down the line. Hell, if nothing else. Do yourself a favor and volunteer, like at a soup kitchen or something. That way you can get a different perspective on how people live and whatnot, and also make you more grateful for your own life and things you we take for granted. Trust me, I've had experience with with um, homeless pe homelessness and people in a halfway house and low income houses, and believe me, it has given me great insight on how we are as a society. We need people. The more it's better that we stand together. Because if we if we fall, break apart, we it this house won't stand. Just be kind and spread the love. Because you might make a difference and not even realize it. But with that ladies and gentlemen I think it's time to put this chapter of the 12 Days Anime to a close. I have thoroughly enjoyed this list. I hope you guys have as well. And, and I want to bid a lovely farewell to my lovely wife who hired us in Nag Nagatoro. But does that mean I'm not going to do this next year? No, no. Tune in next year to see what list I will bring you. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rudy Verne, and have yourself a Merry Frickin' Christmas!